Hey everyone, this is going to be a tutorial for my last video. Now, if you didn't get a chance to see the last video, which was the performance of a really nice trick, I will leave a link down below in the description. So, what are you going to need for this effect? Well, you're going to need two decks of cards. Now, in my case, I chose the white and black Star Wars deck. If you never saw a deck review on these two decks, I will leave my deck review down below in the description. So, here is the setup for the effect, and it's actually quite simple. So, what you're going to need are two cards like this. Now, in my case, I chose the King of Spades, but you don't need to choose the King of Spades. You can choose any card you want. And then from the other deck here, I actually chose a duplicate King of Spades. And what this does is it also has the same back design, but a different color. So something you don't want to do here is actually have this. So if one of your King of Spades is Darth Vader, you don't want to have a King of Spades that's bicycle, because the spectator is going to be able to tell instantly that they're two different cards. But if you have it like this the entire time, then they're going to see they're both the same, and they're going to think there's only one King of Spades. So I hope that made sense. So let's put this away, and let's get into the setup here. So, once you have your duplicate cards, here's what you're going to do. And I also have a video I will link down below of decks of cards that have the same face, the same back design, but a different color. So that will be down below in the description. So basically they're duplicate cards from the same deck, which if you have one, that is really nice. Like the sea green keepers I just showed you. So once you have that, here's what you're going to do. You're going to decide on which deck you want to show from the beginning. And then it's going to turn into the other deck. So I decided I wanted the illusion that this is an all-white deck. So I also took the white card box here. And here's the setup. Meaning that since this is an all-white deck and it's going to be a color change, you want the black deck. Now, if you were to have a black uh, King of Spades, you're going to want the white deck with the black box. I hope that makes sense, but I will show that at the end. So here's your setup here. So you know you want the white deck of cards. So you're going to have the white card box, but you're going to have the black deck. Because you're going to take that white king of spades and put it right on top. And now it's going to look like a white deck of cards. And then from the bottom of the deck, you're going to count three cards. And then what you can do is actually put that king of spades face up in the fourth position. And that is your setup. So one more time, you have that black deck of cards, you have that white king of spades on top, and then from the bottom, you counted three cards, doesn't matter what these are, and then you have that black king of spades face up. So you can either start the effect like this, or what I did in the performance for an extra convincer was I had it in the white box. But once you do that, you're all set. So, 
Let's say you have it in the box and you're ready. You go up to the spectator and you explain you're going to show them a trick. You're going to take out the deck and then you're going to turn it face up. Now, something you don't want to do is when you're taking out the deck, you accidentally move over that top white card and you flash these are all black. Because then that will give away the illusion. So, you know, it's in the box like this. Just go ahead and take it out very carefully from the... So, just, just go ahead and take it out some very carefully. I squeeze the side of the box. Then I can get a tighter grip and I can take them all out. Make sure that doesn't happen either. But then you can turn them face up. So, you're going to hold the deck now like this. So, you were in this grip. You're going to come over and hold it like this. And then adjust your hand grip. So, your three fingers are on the side. Index on top. Thumb is on the bottom of the deck because now you're going to push up with your thumb and you're going to push up as far as you can and then just drop your thumb because that's going to drop the cards. The only thing is you don't want to turn over your hand and also do it like this. And another thing you don't want to do is put down the king and then flash like that. So you explain that you're going to start dropping cards and the spectator calls out stop. Here's the only thing though. You don't want them to call stop on the king of spades. But they could call stop on the ace of hearts or the two of hearts. Any of those cards. And you don't want the last card because then you would go past this face down card. So you want it. I would say between, I don't know, 5 and 25. You could probably go 5 and uh, 40. Just keep in mind, though. So you have it like this, and the spectator is going to call out stop. And while you're putting these cards down, you want about 3 or 4 already down. <laughs> And you explain that as you drop them, they just call stop on a card they like. So let's say they call stop on the, let's go the ten of spades here. So you're going to take the rest of the cards in your hand right here. And you're going to put them on top and you're going to square up everything. Just be careful you don't spread over and flash that face down king. So now you can pick up everything, and I'm going to put this 10 right over to the side. So what you're going to do now is you're going to block push a bunch of cards, just because you have that face down king. So I hold the deck in middle grip, my thumb contacts a lit about 10 to 15, and I'm just going to actually block push everything. And when I do that, I can put these right into my other hand in my thumb, and then I can try to spread these out. But now you're going to take this bottom card here, and don't turn over anything at this point, because then the illusion will be actually shown. So you're going to take this bottom card, don't draw any attention to it, make it sound random going to turn it face up, which is another convincer, because now they saw the white card box, and then when you took the deck out, they saw white, and now they see even more white, so now they're convinced this is totally white. You're going to have them place it in between any two cards they would like, so let's say they do these two cards. So now I like to put this bottom half in my other hand, and now... I'm actually going to separate the deck where the don't turn over like this. So I might put that half down. But I'm going to separate now where the bottom card and the top card is sandwiching this face down card. So something you could do is at this point, take the bottom card sandwiching the face 
down card, take the next card, so the ace of clubs right here, put that down, and now you can pinch the bottom card, the white card, and then the top card. That means take the next uh, top card, the queen of spades, put everything down here. You can put these together as one now, but now you're going to put these down. Put the deck off to the side. You'll come back to it later. So now you're going to actually have these like this. And you you can turn the king face up, and you're going to gather up these cards. But you want the ten under this three, under the next three. Meaning this card is on the bottom. I don't think it really matters which order you do these. I just like to do them in the order they were picked. So essentially this was picked first, so it's next to the king, and then these two are left in the same order. Hopefully that makes sense, but doesn't matter. So this king goes right under, I pinch, this goes under, I pinch, and then I pinch here. So now what you have here are three black cards and then one white card. So now you're going to take everything into a biddle grip. I sometimes do my biddle grip different. This is usually how I do it. But in this case, because I want to show everything, I might do it like this. You just want biddle grip. I talked about it a few times on here. So you can either have your middle ring and pinky like this in the front, or just your middle and ring. But your thumbs in the back, index is on top. At any point you, you're going to do this next move, don't turn over and flash. Well, you could flash, but just don't flash the uh, black here. So something you could do for an extra convincer is say, okay, let's see what cards you have. So you're going to turn over and flash it if you want. And now this is a frustration count. I don't have a video on this, but I could very well make one. So you're going to come over and your thumb's going to go across this three and it's just going to pull back. And now you can turn over your hand again. And this just somehow makes it look like the three is this card when actually it's not. So you can show this hand if you want. Just don't turn over this hand. Because they're already convinced that they're all white now. So right here. Right here. And now right here you can really show. So you just reverse the order. And now you're going to spread and you're going to say okay. So you chose any three cards you wanted. And we have a fourth card, the king. And you're going to take the two. You're going to actually separate it now at this 3 and this 10. Now you have two cards in your hand. You're going to want to take your king of spades or whatever helper card you chose, and you're going to cut it so the king now actually goes to the bottom. It's actually quite simple. I think we were like this, maybe like this. We show it, and then we can cut. So now this is all black, meaning that one white is in the middle. So now what you're going to do is a series of double lifts. You're going to say OK. And you're going to start out with a triple lift. Now if you're not familiar with the handling of the double lift, I will leave all of those videos in the description and I will leave the pinky count in the description. Since the first one is the double lift, I pull down on that bottom card with my pinky. Now you could buckle the top card, I just don't like buckling. I find it a little weird, but you could do that if you want. But you're just going to come over and now you're going to do your double lift. So that was just a strike double I did. You're going to make it look like every back is white. Okay, so I come over, and I'm going to do a triple. I'm going to say okay. So in this case, we have the three, 
and you know that's black. Now you're going to do a triple. Don't flash the back of here. We have the other three. And now here's the move you're going to do. You're going to pick it up. And you're going to go ahead now and hold it like this. You're going to pinch it. You're going to show the king really quick. Come right back down. Move the 10 to the hand the king was at. Throw it down and then show the king. So basically, it's going to look like you showed each card was white when you actually didn't. So once again, here's the move. You're going to show the king really quick. Grab the 10 immediately and drop it. And then you can show the back for the king. So it might look like this. So I'll slow that down a few more times. So we have the king, I drop the 10, and then the other king. And if you do that at fast speed, for some reason, it really looks like both cards are white, and you show that 10 when you didn't. So that's all you're going to do. So you did your triple lift, your double lift, and now you show these were both white. Just because this is black, you show that was white. But now you're going to go to the other deck now, and you're going to catch a break below the top card, so the jack. I'm going to do the Marlow Tilt. So I will leave my Marlow Tilt video down below in the description. But in exposed view is I'm going to put that white card in face down. I'm going to cut the deck, and now the trick is all done. I put these off to the side, I snap my fingers, you can talk about anything you would like, but now you're going to turn over everything, and what was just white is now black. And then I like to set the deck down for a few seconds. I don't rush into the next part, because this is really impressive, so I like to leave it like this. Then once they start to come back to reality, because some of them are so stunned they don't have any words, I pick up the deck and I might spread the top few cards, close it up, spread the top few, close them up, and then once I know I'm coming to the king, I go one by one. And the reason I do that is because if you go any more, you're going to run into the other king which is that king you've been using the entire time, the white king. This is the king we had set up from the beginning. As you can see, they both look the same. So that's why I said use matching cards, because if you use the sea green keepers, well, now they're going to notice something is off. So I come to this king. I put it down. I don't draw any attention to it. Then I do another block push. This is optional. You can just put the king down and square up the deck. If I like to show the bottom half, then I can say okay. Well, if that turned black, how about this king? I snap my fingers, and they can turn over the king now, because everything here is clean. That's black, and then they can either turn these over, or you can snap your fingers beforehand. And I like them to do it one by one, but if they want to, they could do it with a big group. It doesn't all at the same time. It doesn't matter, but those are all black. So that was the tutorial for the trick, a longer tutorial than I would have. So that's why I split the video up into two parts, just so I could go over every move in depth in this tutorial. But I hope you really enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, don't forget to leave them down below. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye.